Hello friends, welcome back once again. Now I'm coming here with another problem of application of trigonometric word problem. Here a question is saying a statue of 1.6 meter tall stands on the top of a pedestal. From a point on the ground, the angle of elevation of the top of the statue is 60 degree and from the same point, the angle of elevation of the top of the pedestal is 45 degree. Find the height of the pedestal. You know, uh, the question is, is saying something like this, like suppose I have a pedestal, something like this, pedestal means something, some kind of base, alright, and in this pedestal, this kind of, uh, some, some base, here is a statue, uh, well, how to make the statue, well, let me say a statue of a man, okay, is here. Now, question is saying 1.6 meter tall, so this, the height of this statue is 1.6 meter from this pedestal, alright. On the top it is still from a point on the ground suppose uh, this is my ground all right in the same ground this pedestal is also uh, standing okay so question is saying from a point on the ground let me suppose a point here this is my point from this point the angle of elevation, uh, elevation uh, of the top of the statue is 60 degree like if I'm watching at the at this big point at the top of this statue then I'm gonna get the angle of elevation of 60 degree now in next step question is saying from the same point the angle of elevation of the top of the pedestal now the top of the pedestal means this is my pedestal right this is my pedestal so top of this pedestal here if you look from the same point you're going to get another angle which is 45 degree so now we have to uh, find out what is the height of this pedestal so what is my this height let me suppose this is x meter so what is this height uh, and every time I used to say this is better to give some name to this kinds of problem so this is a b c and d now here we picturize our whole problem now we need to find out this height right and we have two right angle triangles one is this one uh, triangle B C D and another right angle triangle we do have A C D so using the trig ratios in these two triangles we have to find out the height of the pedestal so let's see here let's apply here something some trigonometric ratios and how to apply the trigonometric ratios I think I have already told every time you'll be getting two things and you need to find out one things right so see here what we have got in this we have got 45 degree angle here right and we have got this height 1.6 but I'm gonna apply first you know like we have to apply trigonometric ratios in both of the triangle but first I'm applying on the smaller triangle and then we'll be applying on the second triangle the bigger triangle all right so see in the smaller triangle I'm talking about this small triangle this is small triangle BCD you know the height BC in the form of X and you know the angle 45 and what you have to find out right you have to find out this CD you know if you find out the CD, then next time you can apply for the triangle ACD, the same ratio. Uh, I'm going to apply here, see, BCD in triangle. I'm going to apply X is given here and the base is given here. X means here it is perpendicular and another this CD is my base. So the relationship between the perpendicular and the base is tan or you can use cot. Uh, I prefer tan. So let's use here, like in triangle, triangle BCD this is a right angle triangle so tan 45 degree equals to now BC over CD BC over CD one more thing I want to tell you since this is 45 degree you know so every time whenever you get a 45 degree and this is 90 degree so you can easily say that uh, this will be also 45 degree and this triangle BCD will be a isosceles triangle and that time this side and this side will be equal but still we need to write here uh, triangle uh, tan 45 is actually 1 and BC is actually X and CD we don't know so I'm getting CD equals to X meter so I got this whole distance in the form of X alright which is X meter now let's apply the same thing in in in, in triangle in triangle A C D again see you know the base now you know this part right you know this base part of this and uh, you know only half uh, like not even half I think 1.6 only one part you know AB you know like height of the statue you know but you don't know the height of the pedestal so you have to actually find out this whole thing if you become able to find out this whole thing AC and then you can easily subtract this AB part and then you'll get the height of the statue that is BC okay so uh, let's first try to find out this AC 
right with the help of dc because dc you know in the form of x and ac you know and the angle you know that is complete angle is actually here 60 degree this is being hidden here right so now let's apply tan 60 and i think you know why i'm applying tan 60 because i know the perpendicular and i know the base and the relationship between the perpendicular and base is tan or cot whatever you feel easy use that one and i'm using here tan 60 degree which is now perpendicular that is ac some people say opposite also so whatever you say perpendicular over the base that is dc and tan 60 degree that is everybody know it is root 3 and ac here ac is actually 1.6 plus x over the cd over the cd and cd addition do we find out this is also x all right so now let's solve this further you will be getting here root 3x and then minus x equals to 1.6 why this is minus x you understand right this root 3 will apply x then you will get root 3 and this plus x this plus thing when you will it will go it will be minus here so minus x and now here I'm taking x common and it will be root 3 minus 1 equals to 1.6 so my x is going to be now 1.6 divided by root 3 minus 1 mmm let's do rationalization what happens root 3 plus 1 over root 3 plus 1 and you'll be getting 1.6 in the bracket root 3 plus 1 and then whole divided by a square minus b square so it will be root 3 whole square minus 1 and let me do one more couple of steps x equals to now 1.6 divided root 3 square that is 3 minus 1 so it will be 2 and again root 3 plus 1 so 2 times so, uh, 0 0.8 it is now right yeah 0 0.8 it is so 0 0.8 root 3 plus 1 you can further put the value of uh, root 3 actually the value of the root 3 is 1.732 something like that plus 1 0 0.8 so you'll be getting 0 0.8 times 2.73 uh, well approximately you'll get approximately you'll get 2.1 something meter like that right something like this you'll get so the height of x right the distance x we find out here now is 2 point approximately 2.1 meter i hope uh, you understand the problem if you have uh, some more difficult problem then please try to mail i will i will try to solve uh, i hope uh, we'll be doing some more problems and uh, we'll be meeting in the next video definitely goodbye